What's going on doozers and welcome to another redstone tutorial guys do me a favor take a look up at the top if you'll notice I am in Windows 10 version that's right I'm not in Java and that's because this specific little trick does not work in Java this only works in Windows 10 so my Java peeps I'm sorry this isn't for you um, this is a little duplication glitch actually and it's really simple. If you notice, the, the redstone on it is just a bunch of repeaters, two pistons, and a chest. And in that chest, we have a single diamond. Now, the trick to this is actually all in timing. So, if I click that, and it, it all comes down to timing... What we're waiting for is when it comes around here just before this, it's as it turns red before it turns red type deal. What you basically have to do is grab this out of the chest before the chest, or as the chest is moving, because when the chest is moving, it's in two separate states. Okay? And the timing is rough. I, I will not lie to you. It's, it's very hard to, to get it timed just right. Right now, I just want to show you that it works. <laughs> oh, it's making me a liar. Oh, for crying out loud. Come on now. Now, you're going to see in my inventory that I have diamond blocks. And there's a really good reason for that. And that is because with how hard it is to get the timing down right on this, um, you're probably not going to want to sit here and just duplicate one single diamond um, or one single Elytra for that matter. You're going to want to do multiple items. I'm also trying to do this in a single cut um, because I don't want to have anybody saying, oh, this is, you know, camera tricks or whatever. Um, let's shorten these up a little bit. We don't have quite so long on the reset. There we go. Now we're moving a little bit faster. Now, I will say this. Once you get the timing down... Um, and you set the timing for yourself. There we go. I think we just got it. Boom. All right. So that's what I was trying to show you. Now we have two diamonds. So we can put those into the chest now. We have two diamonds. And then you take the two diamonds. A little too quick on it that time. So in any case, you get the picture. You take two, uh, the two become four, the four become eight, eight, 16, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But let's face facts. That really does take just a little too long to do. So what we want to do is we do take a shulker box. And let's see here. We want to get... Do, 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 do. All right. There we go. 
Oh, uh, that's right. It's not Java. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> All right. Now, let's clear out the inventory. That way we don't have anything else in here. And the really cool part about this glitch... is that it works in survival and it's you can duplicate any item at all so what we want to do is we want to get ourselves a shulker box we want to take that shulker box filled with diamonds and we want to put it in there and then we're going to start this clock and again you got to deal with the timing uh, let's see, let's lengthen that a little bit. That's what we want. Now, I'm playing in the beta version, and the reason I'm playing in the beta version is because I've been kind of checking to see if it still works as they do the updates. Um, this has been working since the 1.13 update. It may have been working before that. Um, and again, I apologize for how long this has taken, but I don't want anybody saying that I did any video editing. Um, this is all... All one cut. Alright, did I get it? Oh, I was too quick. One of the other things you can tell is that I don't play in Windows 10 version often. Um, now, that being said, this does work on Xbox. So this is a workable glitch in the Xbox system. I promise I'm going to show you how to build it after I prove that you can do it. <laughs> need anywhere near that type of guy. It is kind of nerve-wracking at first, and I promise once you get the delay set for you, it goes a lot simpler. And that's one of the reasons for the number of pist or, uh, repeaters, by the way, is so that you can set your delay based on you. Um, if you notice that you're doing it a little bit too early, too late, you just change the delay. Um, like right there, I was a little bit too late. A little bit too late, so let's take it back a tick. Too early. Way too early.
I will say that this is a lot simpler to do on Xbox uh, when you're using a controller. I really don't want to put any cuts in here, but I don't know how much more of the uh, more of this guy bouncing back and forth you want to pay attention to. Ha-ha! There we go. Success. Now, here's the best part about this. So, if I put box one and box two down, 64 diamonds, 64, and we can just keep doing it. You can keep loading this up with as many shulker boxes as you want, <coughs> um, or as many items as you want in each shulker box, and it will do it. So... Let's go ahead and build this. So we're going to need two pistons. We're going to need a bunch of repeaters, some redstone dust, a chest, and a button. That's it. All right. Now, again, the size of this is going to be based entirely on you. So we're going to put in one piston. We're going to put in our chest. We're going to put in our other piston. We're going to put in a repeater going in. Dust. Dust. Repeater, repeater, repeater. Repeater, repeater, repeater. And start off with these all set to four ticks. Then you're going to need dust. Dust. Button. Okay, and you want that gap, that way you can sit here and actually see this torch, because what you want to do is you're going to see it come here, you're going to see this turn red, that torch is going to go, and that's when you want to take the item, and you need to be able to see all that from in your screen. There. So now you can see the redstone signal going through that, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to pull the redstone signal out of here, and you're just going to do a line of repeaters coming back. And connect it with dust. Um, the delay on this one, I mean, I set it, I set a couple of them to two ticks. But again, you just want to see that it makes its loop. Got a piece. That it makes its loop. It extends, retracts, and the other one pushes. That's it. You throw in whatever the item is that you want to duplicate. You click it. And again, you got to get the timing right. Not going to lie about that one. The timing does take a quick tick to get used to. But once you have the timing set right... It's really easy. Um, you'll get the timing set for you. And then once you're doing that, you can duplicate any item in the game um, as many times as you want, as often as you want. Um, and since it's a pretty 
I'm gonna say it's not server heavy. It's not server intensive. Um, you can do this with books. You can do it with armor. Um, you can really do it with anything that you want to duplicate um, at all, which makes like something like the Elytra, which is very hard to come by. Um, you can do this like that. Uh, you can do a quick shulker gathering run, gather yourself a whole bunch of shulker shells. And before you actually turn them into shulker boxes, you can just duplicate stacks and stacks of the shulker boxes. Um, so there's really no limit to what you can duplicate with it. And again, it's just getting the timing right. I'm just going to keep doing this until I actually get this to work again. Um, and maybe me rambling will prove that it's, you know, a legit thing to do. Um, I'm saying um a lot, and I apologize for that. But there you go, guys. There. Proof. Proof. <laughs> so... That is a Windows 10 Xbox duplication glitch. It's pretty old. I've seen a lot of people going on about it. But considering how uh, Minecraft has been taken off again, courtesy of the newest update, I figured I'd throw it up here, give those of you who haven't seen it or didn't know about it the shot. And as always, this is Diamond Doozer, and I'm out!